Hey guys and gals, today's topic is going to be about prepping is stupid and anti-preppers. And I'll be your host, the Homestead Prepper. And I got a comment the other day and they said that uh, prepping is for uneducated stupid people. Of course I fired back that not prepping is for uneducated stupid people. And uh, I run into these anti-preppers, you know, every now and then. And they vehemently oppose any kind of prepping. Uh, the anti-preppers that I've run across, they, they can almost, uh, they have the same mentality as the anti-gunners. A world of devoid of facts, history, common sense. Only their opinion is the right one. Um, I was talking to this guy the other day, and we got on the subject of, you know, how screwed up the economy was, the government, you know, a bunch of other stuff. And I told him I had a friend who was, you know, I just casually mentioned he was stocking up on some food, you know, in case some hard times happen, he'd have, you know, something for his family. And he said that uh, he immediately fired back and said, well, that is just dumb because when if things got crappy, the bad people would just come and take that stuff from you. And, you know, I, I, I was speechless. So, you know, the guy's attitude is if you have a catastrophe, it's better not to have anything um, than to have something because someone might steal it from you. So you can just ride out your emergency, you know, with nothing. That that's that is intelligence right there, guys. That is that is really something. Um the anti preppers they seem to have this idea in their head that when if a large catastrophe were to happen that everybody would just come together, hold hands build a fire and sing kumbaya everything would just be wonderful the the people who are gang members thieves rapists people like that etc they would just change for the betterment of the overall human race when that happens that that seems to be their reasoning and logic and to me that that does not compute now i, I know that i'm preaching to the choir out there but for some reason uh the anti-preppers out there, they watch my vids, and, and I don't understand it, and they also seem to know quite a bit about me. So, uh, what I want to do is present some prepping in terms that uh, you anti-preppers out there that might understand. Now, you people who are preppers, this this is not for you. This is, this is specifically for the anti-preppers. Um, and, and you anti-preppers who also like to make negative comments. So... Uh, what I want to start off with is, of course, you see the beans, bullets, and band-aids and everything. But uh, what I want to start off with is a formula that the anti-prepper mindset could maybe fathom. Because, you know, uh, a lot of those anti-preppers out there, they, they seem to be pretty smart on some things, but common sense and reason they seem to be lacking on. But I want to try and put this in a mathematical formula and something that uh, everybody can understand. And this this is probably the most famous formula out there. And what you've got is energy in joules equals mass in kilograms times the speed of light squared. So if I were to ask an anti-prepper to work that problem out, he'd probably get his laptop out and go to some website and it would compute it. But what I'm going to do is uh, just say, okay, we'll say that the speed of light is 200 and ninety nine million seven hundred ninety two thousand four hundred fifty eight meters per second we'll square that and we'll say we got mm, three kilograms so that comes out to say two point seven times ten to the seventeen joules of energy okay that's the total conversion of matter now I know some of y'all are saying what do I need to know that for for prepping? Now this is not for prepping, this is for anti-preppers. I'm trying to make a formula here that, that I can try to communicate with them and get, get through to them. So uh, give me just a second here and I, I want to make a, a special formula for anti-preppers. Okay guys, um, I've uh, put together the anti-prepper outreach formula. And it just has a few basic things. You notice all the quantities are zero. They're on the left. You uh, fill in your own quantity. And if I were to ask an anti-prepper to calculate that, he would probably get his calculator out and, and how much food, water, you know. 
he may he may have to go to his uh, his computer. He may have to type that in. Um, but I, I'm going to do the answer for you real quick on what's going to happen for an anti-prepper when they do this equation right here. This is what you're going to get right here. That's what it's going to be. It's, it's not going to be happiness. And then then that's what it's going to lead to right there. So, uh, you anti-preppers out there, y'all study this formula. Uh, I'll do a, a private video for y'all where I prove it, okay? Um, I'm going to change the figures here and do it uh, prepper style, okay? So we're going to change the formula. Okay guys, I changed it to uh, the prepper formula and what I've got here are just some scalar quantities. You can put any quantity you want down. It's just, you know, the purposes of the formula for the anti-prepper so we can have a comparison. And if you're into prepping, you're probably doing stuff that most people don't do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure this formula out with one of these. And I guess I'm kind of giving away my age here. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take that 3.5 and we're going to put the cursor right on 3.5 and then you have to move it, no you have to move it this way and we'll put the thing right right there and if we look at the C scale we're multiplying 3.5 times 7 and I'm just going to go ahead and move this over here and put this on the 7 so y'all can see that but you can't really see we got 2, 21, 22, 23, 24 it looks like about 24.5 so 7 times 3.5 7 times 3.5 is 24.5 and mentally we don't have to use this we can multiply the 10 that's 245 times 1 and on a slide rule the square is already there so if we put this back on the 245 and you come right up here to the top it says 6 so you have to mentally figure 245 times 245 uh, it's not going to be 6 it's not going to be 60 or 600 it's going to be about 60,000 now what it is exactly uh, you only get uh, so many significant figures with a slide rule but that, that gives us close enough that we can uh, get this little number right here. And uh, that is going to be a whole lot better than that zero that the anti-preppers are going to have. And what this is going to give you, that's what you're going to get if you're prepping. And I don't care if you're minimally prepping if you if you just have just the bare basics of prepping you're going to be a lot better off than these so-called anti-preppers out there so uh, and for any of you anti-preppers out there who disagree with me uh, I'd love to hear your feedback and your comments and this is the homestead prepper out